Oh, gee! What the f- Hello, ladies and gentlemen, lads. I'm the one and only Clover, and welcome to Clown in a House. A maybe horror game about a clown in a house. Let's get straight into it. Oh, is that S? Hello, and I will be doing like two parts of this because I know it's a pretty long game. Let's just let's just yeah. It's a surprise to you back in my home. Well, not you, but someone like you. Honestly, I was comfortable being alone. However, I'll admit it's nice to have a visitor with me. I see you're using a keyboard. You can move around using classic WASD. You can also interact with things using space. The mouse is for interacting and shift is for running. That's a nice pen. I noticed because I put it there. It's a door. You're not allowed to open it because it leads outside. Going outside is not allowed. Okay, yeah, we can't go outside. Ah, uh, singing is the best thing to do in a moment like this. Okay. All right. It gives you a moment to, to reflect and figure out what you are doing here. Okay. Just to relax and take things in. No time for saying we have a house to explore. Okay. A mental place. It's empty to you. It looks as empty as you. <laughs> There's two drawers. One is held with an old rest lock. The other is secure with chains. You know it is because you're actually looking at it. Or is it because I told you to see it? It's a nice clock, but the hands are stuck. I guess time really is just a concept. I'm not quite human mask with a dis distracted nose that's in this cabinet. Not really something for you. A plant unique in its, in its own representative way. A plant keeping you alive with it and looks pretty. It's your dark to go down there without a light. You find a small piece of paper under the chair. What to find, how, and how to start. In this house, dare you feel my... Oh well, how'd that get there? Nothing. Oh, you dig around in a pot plant and find a silver key. I'm sorry if you feel like I might have tricked you. A plant full of wonders and potential. A plant, something certainly worth exploring at, at a time like this. This window reveals what is outside in the world. But I'd rather you not stand near the window, please. Thanks. I know it's probably not acting as I... I'm probably... I know I'm probably not acting as excited as I should be to see you again. I just don't want to get my hopes up. I'm sure you understand. The store is locked. There's a bronze keyhole. Door secure with a silver padlock for a silver key. Use a silver key to unlock the door. Good job. Oh, hi, friend. You can't go back. Some of them are watching me. Watching them watch me. Eerie. Hey, those notes are private. Would you mind not looking at them? I find it interesting that you've already begun to open doors and explore. It makes me both excited and nervous. Oh, I don't think I know your name. My name is Kirk. 
What's yours? Clover. Kind of quiet, eh? I guess in these situations, it, it's up to me to give you a name. You're Brian Colfer individual, kind of like a geode. You know, a colorful rock. You know what? The first idea is always the best. So be it. Your name is now. I made this painting. Okay, I didn't make it, but I made it. I don't get to decide everything that goes into my, into a home, but it is up to me to make sure it's strong enough to stand on its own. It's difficult, but also very rewarding. Except it's the unlikely event that, except in the unlikely event that the home catches fire and then. It's not very rewarding, is it? But yeah, I caught into the game because mainly Badass Hero played it, and I saw it ages, ages, ages ago. And I now that I have a Steam account, I'm gonna play it, and I think it's really fitting because my whole channel concept is the circus. The plan became something special because of you. Inside the shelf, you find an axe handle. Stay out of the closet. I would rather we just pretend that door doesn't exist. I appreciate it. Okay, okay. A table with two blades sitting on it. You cannot have those. I want a sword, though. Oh. You need to go to the bathroom? Or maybe you need a moment to reflect. Have you ever thought how the bathroom feels like a safe space where you can be alone with your thoughts? Never mind. I'll leave you alone now. You. As much as you want this plunger to play a role in getting you further along in this experience, it won't. Sorry, that's just how it works. No, I want the plunger. You could use the towel to take off your makeup. However, that would just get the towel dirty and that would be irresponsible. You oh no, I don't care about if only I had something sharp, then I could learn more. Something sharp. The sink is not clogged, unlike the sink below it. It looks like something stuck in the drain, but it's out of reach. A hamper full of clothes, none of them fit you. Oh wait, actually there's a door handle in the bottom of the basket. You reach in the basket and take it, because I just need a second to realize it was there. So we got a handle and an axe. This is a fun display, isn't it? It's amazing how many things you can put on shelves. You pick up a wire coat hanger. We can use that to get something out of the sink, right? Use a wire coat hanger to fish out a door bolt. Okay, now what? The door's missing a bolt and a handle. Will I just so happen to have a bolt and a handle? That has a few strangers in it. No one is perfect. Sorry. Is he writing? What are you doing? Are you just gonna sit there? This could be a way to cope with the situation, but it isn't going to fix things. Even if he did finish, it would only be bittersweet. Come on, this entire house is discover. Is this the way your way of punishing me by ignoring me when I need when I need you most? Oh, there's a little dude in the left. Okay, fine. I don't need you. I knew you couldn't help me anyways. Oh wait, no, I was on to something. Well, it is that I'm gonna turn on a light. This could be a way to cope with the situation, but it isn't going to fix things. I think I'll play for like, I don't know, maybe 40, 50 minutes? Come on, there's an entire house to discover. Is this your way of punishing me by ignoring me when I need you most? 
Okay, fine, I don't need you. So this is it? You're just going to sit there? Yes. Well, I hope you find success in your endeavor. You know where I'll be if you ever come back. Oh! Ow. Whoa! Hi! I guess I'm just doing this for the fun of it. There's a, there's a lot of endings going in circles. There's a lot of endings. Okay, we're back. So there's just a void out there. Oh! It's a hyper-realistic skeleton. It's been here for a very long time. In large bookcase, you find a small box. You open a small box to reveal a tiny book. Inside, you find a bronze key. Sorry, I just want to have some fun. Look inside and find a rusty key. Better not get any closer. There's a cop spacing right. Plenty of room left. It's all right. This is a horrible darkness keeping you from entering. Also, there is a gold lock in the center of the door. Those two things. The plant has a twin on the other side of the door. This plant has a twin. Okay. What's your story? Oh, okay. Bye. 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 Oh, Jesus. Is that a whore? I guess I was consumed. Consumed. So there's a lot of endings. Let's try and get through as many as we can in this video. No, I was trying to interact with the bed. We died. Ah! Okay. I'm trying to... Or not, actually. Bronze key, but I'm... Oh, no, rusted key was here. Use rusted key to unlock the door and find a box of matches. Is locked. You need a bronze key, a book. But yeah, because my whole little character. Oh, I can't let them see you yet. You're not ready. Not sure why I was freezing out. I wasn't expecting company. Tea. Help yourself to whatever tea there is, if you can. Don't stand by the windows. I don't want them to see you. Okay. Okay. The pie, the pie has been staying on, out for a while. I wouldn't eat it. We found a step stool. It's a gas stove. A spatula! You pick up the spatula. Oh, we pick up the spatula. Together. What was that? Door. Door. The only door here is inside your mind. And you can't unlock a door that isn't real. I guess having a strong imagination can't solve everything without action. Inside the furnace, you find a kitchen knife. You be careful with that. It's a drain stopper plug in the sink. Dry paint sits in the bottom. There's a brother that has been open for a while. And there's the butter knife. It's an old-timey stove. Looks like a gaping face with a horn. There's a plant full of optimism. How cute. You are not on the patio. It's for your own good. And mine. Okay. Oh, I saw a thing. Nope, 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 nope. So we have a knife. Can we stab at the window? Stab at the window. 
it has no effect. Didn't work. Stab the art. You seem to have a passionate hatred for art. The precious bear is too cute to be harmed. Oh, remember the one thing that was like, oh, if only I had something sharp. So Gio walks to the tub and uses his knife on. Wow, is this something he would do? Yes. Is he the type of character that would uncaringly and shut down from the horrors of what he's witnessed so far that he would even allow this? Or am I forcing this upon him as a mastery angle to prove how much he and I are so important to each other? Does it matter? Do I give up on my own responsibility and dig deeper into who he really is? Geo, is this really what you want? Sound fire. You try, but nothing happens. It looks like. Oh, I can read that. Oh. Mm. Oh, gee! What the f. I want to know everything about you, how you work, felt, and thought. I figured if I knew everything there was to learn about you, I'd feel complete, but I still feel empty. I guess learning about you was the best part. Now that I know your secrets, the magic is gone. I don't care anymore. I guess I've outgrown you. Oh well, go to the store and pick up groceries. This dude really just pulled a Toy Story on me, just like. I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh! What the f I guess I'm addicted to exploration. We're getting it in order, baby. Exploration is key. So is he still in the tub? Stab this door. You can't stab your way into other per into another person's thoughts. Let's be reason here. If you burn down the door, you might burn down the rest of the house. Oh, no thanks. I already know enough about him. No thanks. I know enough enough about him now. Well, this got dark really fast. Like, really, really fast. Oh! Oh, I killed him! Let's go dance with the body! Dance on the body! Oh my god. You killed him! Yes, I did! Why did you do that? Because it was funny, and I'm a clown. It's what we do. I mean, I know he wasn't the most pleasant person to be around, but he ate me. You can't just stab your problems away. Yes, I can. This is bad. This is really bad. Do you hear that? Oh, it's the police. You're in a lot of trouble now. You're gonna go straight to jail for murder. I gotta go. I can't be seen with you. I gotta go too. I gotta go too. I guess I'm still dreaming. Dark dream. Whoa, we missed like four endings. Dark dream. Off we go. Now let's vanquish the darkness. Do, 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 do. Yeah, now that I've seen, I have a lot more games in mind. 
Uh, just ignore that. Some knife wielding maniac came through and stepped up the plate. Seven again. Seven. Oh no, not you too. What is everyone who come through here in this house? I just say I'm happy. Staffy. The whole darkness has been vanquished for now. You pick up the stuffed bear. You take the knife out and cut open the bear. And try to find a golden key, but at what cost, your bear will never be the same. This is not the first time I felt this feeling. It was more painful before. Have you died before, sir? These are really personal. Do you think you could not? You find an axe head in action. Oh, hey, you have some axe parts. It's a shame there's no way to combine them in your inventory. There might be another way. You find a pillow. It's flattened and weathered, barely holding on. The bed feels naked without its pillow. Wrong bed. The lamplight makes the room a little brighter. I love how you check things twice. And a third time? Wow! A fourth time? Might be a bit much. Alrighty, this is getting old. I'm not acknowledging this anymore. Oh. The only thing you could really need in this was the prawn's key. I think I'm saying too much. I'll stop. Nothing. Nothing. What's your deal? A strange door made of plastic. Not to mention that it's locked in gold key. Nope. Nothing. Just a bunch of unorganized books and toys. You get a feeling of... Oh. You get a feeling that whoever lived in this house must have been pretty scattered. Oh, uh, as am I. I'm very scatterbrained. I need to have, like, notes for everything. Use the gold key to unlock the door. I'm sorry you had to see that. That gentleman you meant earlier doesn't have a name. So I call him Howdy. He was around a lot more when I was younger. Howdy makes people feel good and always brings the circus with him. He'll give you a costume and a treat like a ringmaster. We have some good memories together. Although, let's move on. For real this time. Lamp. This is a plant sitting on the table. Now I'm confused with the plants in the rest of this house because this one's on the table. Oh, I, l I left through the lamp, I guess. I honestly want to punish them, them with honesty. The plant's trying to grow, but it's stuck. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just a late bloomer. Well, that didn't work. You see some of her sticking out from behind the clock. Don't forget to order plane tickets. Knife. I can't paint calls to you, but it's too high on the shelf. Stool. Place stool on the shelf. Using the step stool, you cannot pick up the paint that's high on the shelf. You feel taller. As powerful as standing up made you feel, I'm sure there are other things you can do right now. There's nothing up there worth getting to tall about. Entering a little dresser drawer, you find a tiny, small, baby crowbar. I really didn't plan for that, but okay. We have the world's tiniest grow crowbar. Help it grow. It doesn't work. The world's smallest crowbar. Used by Gordon Freeman. And used to beat my wife. A wild fighting G man. Da, 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 da. AJR's gonna sue me. You put out effort in prying the boards loose. There's no change. They must be taped pretty well. Axe. You throw the axe it against the door, but it bounces off like rubber. It does because I say it does, okay? It didn't land blade first. You do not throw it that way. What if I throw it that way? Spatula. Why do you want to go there so badly? 
that didn't seem to do anything. Why do you want to go there so badly? Curious. We got a crowbar. Chains. Crowbar beats chains. Rock, paper, scissors. Use a crowbar to break the chains. Inside the drawer, you find a paintbrush. This is no way to combine them in this inventory. I wonder if there's a way to use it. The sink. The sink with the uh, paint in it. The dried paint at the bottom. I'm so smart. You pour the paint in the sink. Good thinking. You did the paint push and cut the paint. You already explore your creative potential. Please don't graffiti my home. There are plenty of other ways to remember without defiling property. Are you even listening to me? Back away from the windows. You tap the window, the blade bounces right off. I'm not leaving the window. You can't even imagine a hard age for me to tell you this. I'm embarrassed by you. If people see you, what will they think of me? They'll be proud that your child's a son. They would say, Kirk, you're so weird. Or, oh, you just want attention, don't you? I don't want to spend the rest of my life being an outcast because you wanted to show off. How will I get a job? How will I find love? Clown! I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. It's not like someone else's judgment physically hurts me. Exactly! The embarrassment isn't caused by them. It's caused by my loss of, by loss of my emotional control. Come to think of it, why do I care what people think of me? So you know what? I'm going to embrace this. Geo, why don't you just stand by a window? I want everyone to see you. In fact, I want you to dance. Hold X to dance. Okay. Yes. Wait. Why did I... Why did you stop? I was just getting into it. Yes. Editor, get a video of me dancing to this. It feels so good for everyone to see you like this. It's liberating to be yourself. To tell everyone I'm going to, to be whoever I want. When you embrace how silly you are, nobody can call you silly. Because that would be stealing the truth. Be stating the truth. And there's nothing wrong with being silly. Amen! Let's keep things like this. Let's dance forever. That's what life is about, having fun before you're gone. Thank you for showing me this. I feel like I've got in touch with the deeper side of myself. I can't read that. Bye. <laughs> I guess I found myself. Look at the little gasters on the side. That's so cute. He's dancing. He's into it. Self-acceptance. Alright. Looks like there's a lot of endings, so let's just get as many as we can. Look at him, dancing the night away. I'm like, some people just stand there not dancing. I'm trying to get in sync. There we go. Okay, enough of that. Let's paint this baby. You softly paint the door. It's truly your masterpiece. Five minutes from now, you'll absolutely hate and give up on your dreams. Can I stab you? Nope, nothing. Okay, well, in the door we go. 
Seeing as your last bear lost its head, it's probably for the best to stay away from stuffed toys. Why is this paint? Who does this painting belong to? Is that Starry Night? Yeah, that's Starry Night. You, me, it's hard to say. It goes when I'm building this home, it's mine. Like giving birth. Eventually, you have to let your child out into the real world just to be scrutinized, hated, loved, or judged. Once it's out there, it's not yours anymore. Sometimes I want to go back to one of my old homes and tell people their drapes are ugly or their car patio looks cheap and lazy. But that would be trespassing. What are you? Oh, I hate these. They're so frustrating because they show up at the worst times, especially when I try to force them to go away. Let's just leave them here. Maybe they'll disappear. Axe. Nope. This is too on the nose. Knife. You can't just stab away your money problems. Spatula. You try to use spatula to pry the blob off wall. One of the faces looks at you for two. There are many books out there. You should be a little more pick about what you put your precious time into reading. You're always changing directions, even when you change the direction you want to be in. I mean, I mean, it's true, right? Dude, this is just House for Alyssa, part three. Hmm? I wonder who that could be. This paint plant is attractive. It's doing its best to make you feel something. Someone's at the front door. I can't dance. The window reveals what's inside the house, but I'd rather not you not stand near the window, please. Thanks. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. What's this? Someone mailed us a letter. How exciting. Oh, wait, it's just a bill. Typically, someone reaches out to make a personal, meaningful connection. It turns out to be a stranger wanting my money. Just get rid of it. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. And it's the damn bills. The IRS is after me because I haven't paid my bills. Tax fraud! Bill. Nothing like hellfire knocking at the door to get you out of bed. Misery can be a master motivator. Except you have no choice but to move forward. You eagerly look in the drawers, but they're all empty. There's a sword on the shelf. Neat. Behind the book, you spot a tiny key. This key may or may not be dangerous. Only one way to find out. Locked again. This isn't exactly the most functional patch without the doors being locked and such. Oh, this is the patio key! Alright, let's check out here first. Oh! You aren't as smart as you think you are. I'm sorry, little alarm for. Well, it's set. You can, you can feel your eyelids getting heavy. You flush your pillow and put it on the bed. You can feel your eyelids getting heavier. The alarm is set, but something is missing. You can't focus here. You're not comfortable in front of this mirror. From a distance, the shelf looks normal, but you get closer, you realize they're all painted on. You have you see a toolbox and pick it up. Ow, my ears! This is the chair where a cushion sits and this is the chair where the cushion sits and thinks. Some are kings, some are clones, you are nothing. This, this plant does not exist yet, although it's trying. There's books titles you don't recognize. Each one its own galaxy birthed into existence by time and passion. You feel guilty knowing you'll never read them. The door door unlocked from the other side. Could you find a way in with Alec? Something heavy could be placed here. 
Rabbit! A blind little rabbit sits on the chair. He doesn't want any trouble. Will I do? In your haste, you attack your pile ever. You accidentally cut yourself. Did I tell you to be careful? Oh, okay. Oh, we're bleeding. Well, we have the patio and the room with the golden key. Oh, so I'm really nervous about this. I do want you to go out there, but I also don't want to lose you. It's whatever. It's not like I care about you or anything. Just be careful. Can you move? Are you still alive? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. Uh, well, I guess that wasn't so bad after all. Chairs. Chairs everywhere. Juice! The juice looks really nice and cold. But you can't have any. It's for guests. It's painting sing on the ground, trap. Ground is trash. No one wants it. It was made long ago when people dealt with pain and death on a daily basis. They use paintings like this to cope and relate to their suffering. However, people don't die nearly as much anymore, and everyone lives like kings. So now it's trash. There's lots of plants in this home. Oh, I couldn't read the last part. You pick up a, a boulder. It's not just a rock. Oh no, it's not just a boulder. It's a rock. Okay, can we comment on the chairs? It's a workbench. These are some old pieces of objects, but only if you have the tools. Well, I just so happen to have an axe head, an axe handle. Shame, all these tools, but nothing put in the other. Well, we happen to have some tools. Using the tools on the axe and handle, you assemble the axe. I'm personally excited. A giant statue of a cat. Mr. Scripter must have must really be in the cat. Oh. What's your deal? Let me go out there. Oh. Oh, aren't you clever? Going outside the boundaries. You were never really one to follow the rules. Speaking of rules, I'm trying to figure out the rules of this house. He's just dead. I'm worried that this one might not be good enough for you. I worry that. So, it the recording ran out of time. So, in short, these are my lawyers, and he's talking about turning this game into like one of those trash mobile games. And he's like, "Oh, unlockable skins. It would be free to play, so that it will break down the purchase wall." Once you are in, you're hooked, baby. Yes, a hundred thousand little geos running around spending money. If one percent of you spent a dollar a day, that's a thousand dollars a day. Do you know how much that is annually? Three hundred sixty per year. Holy cow! I could easily retire. I won't have to kill myself trying to do all this for you. Money would just pour in while I sat there doing whatever I want. This is genius. Keep dancing, you stupid clown. Keep dancing. Oh, don't want to dance? That's fine. I'll find another Geo to replace you. And when that clown stops dancing, I'll replace him too. He got me into a marketable plushie! You know what? You know what's amazing about all this? Even when you're gone, there will always be another bright-eyed, bushy-tailed clown to dance for me. Thanks for the money, idiot. See ya. I guess I stopped caring. Experience the wow funny clown. Alright, let's get one more ending than one of the recording. Back to the patio. So cute. Makes you want to slap a price tag on him. <coughs> Pepita! Don't turn me into marketable plushies! So over here so we can put something heavy on it.
Oh, thank you for placing that boulder there. It looks great. Have you been thinking about ways to decorate this house more? I really like what you did. I'm curious to see what it looks like on the other platform. Would you mind placing it over there? Yeah, no problem, dog. You pick You pick up the boulder. Hmm, that looks pretty good. But I'm not sure if it would look as good good as the on the other side. Would we'll you try moving it? Well now this is getting repetitive. <laughs> now that it's on this side, I'm starting to wonder if it would actually make more sense to move it back to the other side. You know, I'm really feeling the magic as much on this side as I did the other. So if you would just move it back, I'm sure I'll feel it, feel it again. I know you're working very hard to move this back and forth, and you're doing an, an amazing job. I just need to feel like this belongs to me. So if you could just move it back to the other side one more time. I'm sure that this would be the last time. This better be the last time, Kirk. I'm tired of your Kirk. Hmm. No, this still isn't perfect. It needs to be perfect. That people will say, Kirk, this is the best house you have ever created. You lead your team like a king. They will ask, how do I do it? How do I get people to work so hard for you? And I'll probably claim... It's because I have a natural charisma with creative people. By telling them that what to do and how to do it, and therefore I am created by proxy. This situation is a rarity, and you're the first person this has happened happen to. So bear with me, and move, move that boulder one last time. I'm sweating! Like a Legend of Zelda character. And I'm moving so much slower. We go. We... This isn't leading to anything, I'm going to be very upset. I know it's getting late. You're getting tired. It's it, 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 it's one ten a.m. Kirk. But it's important that you keep it going. It, if you don't do it for me, do it for the team. Team as in you and me. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. 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 Never back down. Never what? Never back down. Never what? You seem to be slowing down. That's no good. The success of my home depends on on you continuing to, to hard work. You know what my move you? Free beer and pizza. Yup. This is sound good. You don't drink? Okay, weirdo. How about this? I'm a miner. I have something that's truly gonna make move you. A validated, signed, official, very real paycheck. Certification of exposure. You are hereby exposed to hundreds of thousands of people who will see your work and know that you exist. A G of the Clown is awarded the certificate of exposure. Congratulations. Signed, Kirk S. Let's mot let the motivation course through your body. Now that you're rejuvenated, go ahead and move that ball to the other side of the, of the room. Is this going to permanently slow us? No, this isn't it. One of my, I'm my promise, move the board back and we'll be done forever. Kirk, I'm tired. This is child labor. I already work at a gas station. Oh! We died. Oh no. No, that's not quite right. Why don't you take the board to the and place it on the other platform? <laughs> I 
I guess I was a tool. We got jackpot boulder. It's a rock. All right, let's get one more ending, then we're gonna end, end the video. Oh no! Wait, no. This is no. This is the room we want. No, it's not. I I lied. We need to go to the room with the gold key. Wait, no. We gotta see what what the other Geo's doing. <gasps> I have hiccups. I hate this. I know. I might bribe Flame to, to do this thumbnail. He's exhausted from a long night of work. When he wakes up, let him know that he isn't needed anymore. <laughs> He's to be ejected immediately. Imposter! <laughs> I hate hiccups so much. Alright. Let's... Look. Let's look for another ending in the in the gold key room. God, I could go for a Kit Kat right now. I know it's like one in the morning. Well, now I'm lost, Kirk. What do you want from me? I think it was in here. You did it. You busted the door with the X. He Here's Clover. Now I know what you're thinking. This seems familiar. Like you have yelled, Here's Geo. We're all work and no play makes a Geo, blah, blah, blah. But I assure you, this idea is completely original and I am very influenced by ideas outside of this home. In fact, it would be cruel to make me take advantage. I'm very shy, I guess. So I won't. This home that I created for you is strong enough to stand on its own without lazy callbacks. Although it was still kind of fun. You really think you were the only one here? You probably shouldn't stay here for too long. It's closed and covered in moldy soap. You will never silence me as much as me. Hey, not kidding. Now stop snooping around. You'll never send me as much as me. It's one of those suction cups, something strap underneath. Maybe it's a quarter. I like money. Under one of the cups, you find a red key. It's not a quarter, but it's useful. Supports in the sink. It's a little dirty. Find a toothbrush. Brush my teeth. You try to resist the sick twist of logic, but you end up always in the thing. You brush your teeth with the dirty toothbrush. It's not so bad, but the aftertaste is horrible. You feel your eyelids getting heavy. Come to think. But I'm pretty tired too. I guess we can cool off with an evening desk to relax. You came by once, you'll be here tomorrow, right? Well, what are you waiting for? Off to sleep we go. Oh, It's so nice to lay in bed. It's so warm and soft. No worries, no responsibility. 
It's almost like you don't have to feel anything. God, I wish that was me. I'm so tired. Oh! Getting up is such a chore. Why not lay in bed forever? People, thoughts, situations, they can't hurt you. Here, you can let everything you deal with disappear. I feel like I could stay here forever. And soon, I will, I will be asleep. I don't have anything to say or do. Nothing to prove myself or anyone else. Oh! <laughs> That's dope. This. I guess I didn't try. Go back to sleep. You know what, game? I will. Well, it, I still have hiccups. Well, ladies and gentlemen, lads, that was Clown in the House. If you did enjoy, please like. If you want to see more from me, subscribe. Comment if you want to see more vi videos from me. I will probably be doing a part two because this game was objectively fun. And uh, yeah, if you want to play it, link below. It's on Steam. It's like eight bucks. But I'd say it's worth it. Because this was fun. And yep, that's pretty much it. Have a wonderful evening, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll see you in the next video.